welcome back to my channel. This is not your ordinary video, okay? Let's pause that right there. This is going to be a speedy talk through. No slow chit chat. This is going to be fast. So are you ready for it? Because it's going to start now. So this is the Pixie Rose Oil that I'm putting all over my face as like a primer-ish. I basically just go out the shower so I'm very dry and I need it. This is the Iconic Primer, mattifying, fills in all your pores. This is the Iconic Illuminator. That's going everywhere as well, just to make me super glowy. I love that. Using the Iconic Brush too to go with it. And I'm just buffing that in absolutely everywhere, including my chest, because you want to be glowing. If you want to glow, you need some of that stuff. This is the pigment sticks, this one is in number 3 and the one you're about to see after is 3.2 which I use basically to just bronze up my entire face. Not, not really contouring, more bronzing, uh, just to warm the whole thing up. And I'm just using the uh, Pro Evo brush by Iconic again just to buff all of that in. This is the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal, I did run out. But now this is a new one and it is amazing. It's so full coverage. I'm just highlighting all of the areas. So chin, by my mouth, my nose, my forehead, under eye. All of that shizzle, you know the deal. You can get these off of Beauty Bay. And then I'm using the Real Technique sponge just to buff all of that in. Make sure you dab, no wiping. You don't want to move all your foundation around. So I'm just buffing the whole lot in by dabbing. then setting all of the skin using the Laura Mercier setting powder, same thing, make sure you dab it all on first. I'm just leaving the under eye for the NYX HD setting powder in Banana as you can see now. And then going into the Anastasia contour palette, this is in light to medium and I'm just contouring around my cheekbones and my forehead area. I then like to go over all of the contour with MAC Give Me Sun, this is a really summery bronze bronzer. <laughs> So yeah, I like to use that on top of it. This is the NYX blush palette. I'm not sure what colour that was and I can't remember what the palette was called because it looked like it was in French. I'm then going to the Iconic Highlighter palette. I'll make sure I'll leave every single name down below. This one is a really yellowy undertone highlighter which I absolutely love. They are so pigmented, these highlighters. I'm going into the All Nighter Setting Spray by Urban Decay. Obviously, you want to set all of that, make sure it holds and that one is super strong. This is the NYX Micro Pencil that I'm using and I like to use it just to outline all of my brows first. Give like an outline, as you can see what I'm doing to the tail, there's a massive gap. And then afterwards I like to go into the Tarte Palette, as you can see I like to use the lighter colour for the middle and then the darker colour to fill in all of the ends of my brows. <laughs> And then it's time to conceal. This is the Select cover-up, I believe. Um, yeah, it's super, super light, this one. I think it's NW15. I'm using it just to carve out my brows, as always. So now it's time to start on the eyeshadows. This is the Kylie Burgundy palette, and I'm taking that middle colour. I use that a lot, and this is a really fluffy brush. It's going all over the base pretty much. I'm going for like a spotlight look but it doesn't matter if this colour goes everywhere, it's just the transition colour. I'm then going into the Tartlet palette and I'm going into the darkest colour. I'm packing it on the outside and the inside and then blending it out with a fluffy brush and just repeating this process over and over again. I'm then going into the Morph palette, I think this is the 35W, and I'm taking the black. This is a smaller, more dense brush, so it's packing the black on on the outside. And then I'm taking a brush that looks just like it, but smaller, and it's going on the inside, because you don't want too much black in the corner. I'm then taking this pigment by Peaches and Cream, it's called Wish, and I'm using my finger just to dab the pigment on in the centre. It's like a light goldy brown, it's not too bold and in your face, it's quite subtle but it's still noticeable on the eye. I'm then taking some black liner, this is from Rimmel and it's just going in my waterline, pretty basic. And then I'm doing the same on the top with a liquid liner from Rimmel, this is the Glamise liner. 
I'm not doing a wing today, I'm just doing a simple line just because I'm putting lashes on top. And then I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And I just wanted to warm things up on the lower lash line, so that's where I'm putting it. And then I'm going back into the Tarte Palette again, and I'm using an angled liner brush this time, like I do on my brows. And I'm going to pack this colour right against the lash line. Time for some lashes. These are from Iconic. They are incredible, their new lash line that they have brought out. Please check them out. These ones are very, very fluttery, even though they're not too bold, just because of how dark my eyes are. I don't want to go too crazy. And now moving on to my lips. This is called London by NYX, which is a very nude colour. I wanted to keep it very nude with a dark eye, more like night out makeup. And then this is the liquid lipstick from Nip and Fab, and it's called Toffee which is my favourite kind of colour, a very browny nude. And that's it, it's all done. I weren't playing when I told you it was going to be quick. This is the finished look, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!